Hello Python programmers, so in this video, we'll discuss how to create a Python program to blur vehicles number plate. It can blur for car, for bikes, for any vehicle. Okay, sounds cool? Let's create that real quick. So for this program, we need a few packages. Uh, first, we need OpenCV Python. So pip install OpenCV Python. For me, this is already installed, but for you, it may take some time. Then you have to pip install numpy i guess numpy comes uh, in the package of opencv but still just to make sure pip install numpy is the command that you have to write okay also you need one file okay this is a hard cascade that you need now you can get this from two sources first you can go to the official opencv github page and you can download from there but if you are doing that you have to download the entire opencv git repository which is huge and it will take a lot of time so what i'll do is i'll provide the source code and this hard cascade with the link in the description okay you can check that out from there basically you have to because you need this hard cascade okay so uh let's get started with our program okay so now we are into our editor first of all let me quickly import the packages that we had just installed so just give me a second so first is cv2 which is our opencv package and second is numpy and we are using a short notation of np to refer to numpy okay now we have to define that what will be the uh width of the frame uh 640 and what will be the frame height so uh height of the frame is uh 480 okay this these are the dimensions of our output video then what we have to do is we have to call the cascade file so uh, i'll create a plate cascade variable inside a string you will provide the absolute path of this uh, xml file and uh, this string will be provided to the cv2 dot cascade classifier uh, so yeah let me quickly close the brackets okay then let's create the variable that will actually take the input which is a video you can also take the live stream of video you can take the input from the webcam you can take the input from the mobile camera you can take the input from a wireless arduino camera i know i have said this multiple times but uh, all the projects are different so i have to so yeah all the sources that i have logged before you can check them out from the link in the description okay it will be a playlist link or a individual link you can check them out from there okay so uh, it will be cv2 dot video capture video capture and uh, you'll write the name of the video file here okay and that video file should okay so uh, this is not the absolute file okay uh, like this is the absolute location or the absolute path of your hard cascade okay but here you have to write the reference address okay like if i want to select this uh video 1.mp4 so i'll simply write video 1.mp4 not c slash work slash uh the folder name I have to write the relative address. This is the absolute address. This is the relative address. Okay. So here you have to write the relative address and here you have to write the absolute address. Okay. So just uh, mention the video file name over here. If uh, you are taking the input from the webcam, just write zero. Okay. So it will be a string. Then we'll create an infinite loop. So uh, while true uh comma img so what we'll basically do is we'll do cap dot read so uh we are reading the data from the video and uh the main data is stored in this image variable and we are only concerned about that data only then what we'll do is we'll convert uh, the incoming video stream into gray image okay why we are doing so i have said that multiple times to make the output more accurate we are converting the bgr which is the blue green red format this is the format opencv accepts so we are converting this format into gray so that the task performed on a video are more accurate okay so uh, we are using the cvt color class of opencv these are the two parameters first is the image the data that is coming from the video now i'm assuming that you know how this video is being read right if you don't let me quickly explain it to you what are videos videos are slideshow of photos okay so we are splitting the video into each frames and we are performing these operations on each frame so, okay 
this is why we are creating this infinite loop and inside this infinite loop we are reading each frame okay so this image variable is having the data of a single frame and with this infinite loop we are reading all the frames from that video file okay then what we have to do is we have to perform the operation or we have to detect the number plate in our frame so uh, we'll create a number plates variable and we'll perform the operation so plate cascade plate uh, plate cascade is this uh, variable over here which is having the data of our har cascade xml file so basically we are saying okay so uh, we are having this xml file take this data and detect multi scale okay detect these pattern in image gray file let me explain it to you once again take this plate cascade data and detect the similarity in the image gray frame okay and these are some tuning parameters you can tune it according to yourself by the way if you want me to create video on these parameters specifically because they are actually pretty interesting then you can comment down below these are the scaling factors so yeah you can just comment down below and i'll create a separate video on uh, these parameters okay so now moving ahead so if there is a, a number plate in our frame in our img gray frame uh, this number plate will have four values okay x y width and height okay starting x and y just close your eyes and listen to this audio and try to imagine what's happening so the starting of the number plate okay x and y axis of the starting of the number plate then width and height this is how we are getting the entire area of the number plate okay we don't need all the four coordinates we only need the starting coordinate and the height and width so for x comma y comma w comma h in number plates this is happening if the uh, number plate is detected img is equal to cv2 dot rectangle okay so here we are drawing a rectangle this is not necessary if you want you can simply blur it but just to make it more visible we are drawing a rectangle also so we are drawing a rectangle on what on our image first value is x and y then x plus w and y plus h the length then this is the color of the rectangle and the last parameter is the size or the width of our rectangle okay then we are applying median blur on that frame okay on that rectangle on that number plate we are applying median blur to blur it okay once again you can experiment with these parameters with these values they work for me but you can experiment on your own okay now the only thing left is to uh, show the output to the user and uh, close the window okay so yeah this is uh, these are the commands cv2 dot i am show this is the uh, title of the gui which will show the output and this is our output key is equal to cv2 dot weight key okay so uh, we are setting a weight key if key is equal to equal to order of q or if we are pressing the button q we want to break this infinite loop okay this is a exit condition okay then cap dot release cv2 dot destroy all windows and yeah this was the programming part this is all you need to detect the number plate in your video and blur it a small homework and it will be very simple because i have already solved that thing in one of my previous video okay so now we have got the blurred video but we are not saving it somewhere okay we are just showing it to the user we are not saving it somewhere so you have to find a way to just combine all these frames and save in a video file now i'll recommend you a video where i have done this same but in a different way you have to apply the same concept in this project okay i'm pretty sure you can do that it's very simple it's no rocket science okay so yeah this was it this was a short video in which i have shown you that how you can create a python program to blur number plates okay so meet you in my next lecture bye bye